In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the two half hitches. The two half hitches is a great choice for creating a sliding knot around an object that you can make some adjustments to. What you do is you first pass the rope around your object, whatever it is you want to tie to. This is the standing part, the part that you'll be pulling on. This is the running end, the part that you'll be working the knot with. And what you do, is you pass the running end over the standing part and you pass the running end through the loop that you've created. So now ostensibly you simply have an overhand knot. But here's where the magic happens. What you do is you continue wrapping around the same direction around the standing part and your running end comes around, this time outside of the loop here. And in this tiny little loop, the running end passes through here. And that is it. And what you do, this is, is actually just a clove hitch on the running end. You begin tightening up the knot, dressing it until the knot tightens up and now you have this great loop knot that can slide and adjust and somewhat hold its position. Now, there's a couple downsides to this knot. One, this thick stiffer cord does not hold the knot very well. It tends to want to come undone. So what you want to do in this particular case especially if you're using as a guy line for a tent, is typically your guy line is going to be much thinner like this 550 paracord. Links below in the description to all the material I'm showing here. But this 550 paracord, the same sort of thing. You tie this loop here. You take the running end and pass it through the loop. As you can see, and then you begin passing the running end again around the standing part outside of the loop. You pass it around. So it looks like a mess, but it magically works out in a moment. And then you keep coming around. And now you begin pulling and dressing the knot and voila, you've got this nice clove hitch that you can tighten up very well. And it works super great and it holds quite a bit of tension, but you can pull and then hold, readjust and hold. Or if you just want to slide it against your object and hold it right there, it does an excellent job. So the two half hitches, is a super good choice for creating a sliding adjustable knot. Again, it does not work well in thick, heavy cord, but let me show you one more thing about how twisted rope works. And this is the nice part about twisted old school style rope. Instead of smooth, thick cord, is that the twisted rope, well again, tie the same knot with my messy old truck rope. I will come around just like this and I will continue wrapping again, this time outside of the loop and I will pass the running end through here and again create a clove hitch on the loop the best part about twisted rope is the little bumps in the twist. You can hear that grip. And as I tighten up the knot and dress it, it holds super well. You can hear that bumping. That will hold a lot more weight and is a perfect choice for an adjustable, easy to tie loop around an object. The two half hitches is an excellent choice. 
to create a sliding loop knot around the end of a rope so you can attach it to your tent, your guy lines, your, uh, your fishing gear, even your literal laundry line out in the yard. And this knot does a very good job of holding, as I said, on the twisted rope rather than the slippery rope. It does a better job. The slippery rope does okay, but the twisted line here, wherever this is, the twisted line, boy, oh boy, this stuff holds super great with the two half hitches because of the ridges on the twisted rope. It makes such a difference that it is almost difficult to slide once it's under tension, but that's exactly what you want because once you tighten this knot down, it does take some effort. And of course, I'm trying to video it to show you here. But once you get this all tightened down, you can see this takes a lot of tension and it's not sliding. And yet, super easy to adjust. So whether you use twisted rope or synthetic smooth rope or accessory cord, the two half inches is an excellent choice for this. I talk about this in my most crucial, the most crucial knots to know book on page 94 and 95, where you can learn about that knot and more. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links below in the description to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost at Windy Corner, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, and the 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as my shows, Antarctic Tears and Lost at Winnie Corner. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way you can learn more about wonderful knots like this.